Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, January 18th. It is an A day. For lunch today, the cafeteria is serving Southwest chicken and rice, celery sticks, fresh oranges, and chilled milk. The next boys JV basketball game is Saturday, January 20th at Mikkel at KTVM at 2 p.m. Next week, January 23rd to the 26th, will be early dismissal days due to Regents and CIA exams. The testing schedule is Tuesday, the 23rd is the ELA Regents. Students only taking the ELA Regents need to be at school. Wednesday, the 24th, is math and ELA CIAs in the morning and algebra Regents in the afternoon. If you are taking the algebra Regents, you only need to be here for that test in the afternoon. Thursday, the 25th, is the science and history CIAs in the morning and global history exams are in the afternoon. If you are taking the global history, if you are taking the global regions, you only need to be here for the test in the afternoon. Friday, the 26th, <clears throat> we make up CIAs for anyone that has missed a test due to regions exam or an excused absence. And the 26th is also the end of the quarter. Welcome, Welcome to Jobs, Jobs, Jobs. This is our new segment about jobs. Okay, guys, so where was your first job? Mine was at Market 32. Mine was at Primark. How did you guys get your jobs? Uh, I got my job because I walked into an interview before the store opened, and the manager said, oh, you're very pretty. Are you of age? And I said, yeah, I'm 16. And she said, oh, I think you do good on the floor. I'm just going to hire you. And I said, OK. And then, you know, I started working like a week after. Wow, OK. So that was very easy for you then. Yeah. What about you, Sadaya? Um, I was coming from a sleepover, and I had to go to get, um, I think it was like juice. I don't remember. But I, I walked into the store, and they, they were like, oh, do you want a job? And I said, but I'm only 15. And they were like, oh. We are at 15, and she gave me like a little card, and I did like an on-the-spot interview in my Laffy Taffy pajama pants, and I got hired, and I started working like I think two weeks later, and it's been like a year and a half now, so. Wow, such interesting stories. Um, do you guys like your job, though? So? Yeah, I've, it's not like terrible. It has its off days, you know? I, I like my job, I just don't like my managers. Mm. Or the customers. Yeah. Or the so, people I work with in So general. you don't like your job? I mean, I I like the money. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Um, what's the worst part about your job? My manager. Like, my one manager. She's just, like, very... She's, like, a little bit too happy for me. And it's, like, sometimes... It's, it's nice, you know? But, like, at, like, a 9 o'clock on a Sunday, it's just not needed, you know? And I don't like how she always separates me from my friends because I just feel like that's not nice. And she's definitely doing it intentionally because she knows I talk too much, but it's okay. I think I would have to agree with that. Um, my managers are very old, and they oh. all they did was hire a whole bunch of teenagers. So now they get confused when the teenagers are acting like teenagers at the job. Yeah, that too. And they try to separate us, and it's annoying. Yeah. So. That also happens at my job, too. Looks like uh, managers is uh, the general trend mm -hmm. for yeah. not liking your job. But what's the best part about your job? Probably, like, my work friends, I guess. Because, like, if I didn't have them, I would quit. So, you know, the money. Yeah, I like the money. I, I do, yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Paycheck be hitting after yeah. a long week. Yeah. 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 OK, so we're going to go out next and we're gonna ask some teachers about their first jobs and just like the same questions. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so right now we have Miss Licorice and we wanna know what was your first job? So my first job was at Banana Republic in a mall in oh, Queens, wow. New York. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, very expensive clothes. I could yeah. never afford it. A um, lot of folding shirts over and over again mm -hmm. and um, yeah. I had a long history in retail after that, before I became a teacher. Did you like it? Mm, yes and no. What was, what was the best part? Um, I like putting things in order, so organizing things, I guess, was the best part. What was the worst? 
some customers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they always had an attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very posh people that shop at Banana Republic, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Ms. Zachary. You're welcome. Hello, Ms. Chernobyl. Hello, Jasia. Okay, so guys, today we have Ms. Chernobyl, and we just want to know, what was your first job? Well, my very first job was babysitting. I used to babysit for my dentist, and she had two kids, and then she had another kid, and then she had another kid. When she hit four, I stopped babysitting for her. She went on to have seven kids. I was also then informed by my mother later, when I became an adult, that she was not a good dentist. So, yeah, and her husband was always changing jobs. Like, he was a pilot for a while, and then he wanted to work for the FBI, and he just kept changing jobs. Did he work for the FBI? I don't know. Oh. Daryl Barra, mm. and you could probably look him up. Um, and then my second job was working, I know you didn't ask, my second job was working at the Library and Colony, and I worked there for a little bit. And then my third job was working at the JCC summer camp as a summer camp counselor, the summer before I went to college as like a theater camp counselor. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I worked, the summer after my freshman year of college, I worked at Houlihan's in the mall, which is by the, where the old movie theaters were. It was a restaurant. I worked there because I was like, I have to wait tables. You should definitely work in restaurants because you can move anywhere and get a job, and it's really good money, and it's fast. So I worked at Houlihan's, and I also worked at Starbucks. So I'd close the restaurant at night and then open Starbucks in the morning. Wow. I don't recommend. Okay. I was very tired. And then I worked in more restaurants. And then I, do you want all of my jobs or just that? That was too much? No, you can keep going. No, you can ask me other questions. Oh, you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, well, out of all the jobs you've had, mm, which one's your lot. favorite? Um, what was your favorite other than this one? Other than, I do really, I mean, I love doing this yeah. as the news. I love all of my students so much. You're what keep me here. Um, but I, I mean, all my acting jobs were my favorite. Like I, um, anytime, especially anytime I got to perform live on stage and got paid for that, that was, that was my favorite. I, I worked on a cruise ship for six months. I lived and worked on a cruise ship performing with Second City. I did sketch and improv. I think I've told and the story. that wasn't necessarily, I don't really recommend living on a cruise ship, mm -hmm. but um, it was fun in the sense that I only had to work Thursday nights and Friday nights. And the rest mm -hmm. of the time I just got to go to yeah, the beach and nice. go to the gym. That's and, nice. Yeah. So that was nice. I loved working on commercials, like doing all that stuff. Being on set was super fun. Although a lot of it is like, you sit around. Like mm -hmm. I was, there was one commercial I worked like all weekend, which was great because we got overtime because it was on the weekend. But I sat in my trailer for like seven hours before I said my three lines. And then I sat oh. in my trailer again. So there's a lot of nice. sitting around yeah. and waiting. And mm -hmm. then you have to be ready like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Yeah. yeah. What's the worst job you've had? Oh, I worked in a paper factory in New York City oh, in the barn. Of, it was it's above the Barnes and Nobles in Union Square, and um, it was run by this guy who inherited it from his father, and mm -hmm. he had a Russian mail order wife who he hated, so he never went home. So he slept under his desk, like in a sleeping <laughs> bag. And I just like walked in and like got the job. He like asked me if I had any experience, and I was like, yeah, here's my resume. He's like, okay, um, can you start now? And I was like, sure. He's like, here, file these. And he gave me a bunch of like folders to file, and I just had to turn around and go to the other side of the room, and there were just all these filing cabinets, and it was, it was a crazy place. And then by like working there a couple months, I was like accounts payable, accounts receivable, the like secretary. I would just put people on hold. I'd be like, hi, can I have accounts payable? I was like, yes, please hold. And I put them on hold. And then I said, like, hello. But one day, so one day at the paper factory, our, um, our checks bounced. Mm. And this woman who had started working there, who was going to NYU for a master's in creative writing, who asked me to proofread all of her stuff, which was not really appropriate stuff to read at work, no. but she asked me to proofread it all the time. She was British. She was very weird. Um, she started, she called me on my cell phone. She started screaming about how our checks bounced and how she wasn't going to be able to pay her rent. And then this giant... The, one of the most massive human beings I've ever seen in my life showed up. Um, his name was Bill, and he had a wad of cash, and he gave it to 
Ivan, who worked in the paper factory. Mm -hmm. And then from that day on, we were paid in cash. Oh. So that was... That sounds illegal. Yeah, that... Oh, it was definitely not... There was really nothing above board at this place, Mm. but... Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was the early 2000s, so what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, was Alrighty. There you have it. It was a lot. <laughs> Her yeah. lore of jobs. Yeah. It sounds very fun. <laughs> yeah. Had a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs>